हेलो वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग हाटी हाटी वेलकम गुड टू सी यू ऑल हाटी हाटी वेलकम या प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर एज वी कैच अप विद द सेशन आई एम नंद कुमार के वी एंड वी आर लाइव ऑन बोथ फेसबुक एंड यूट्यूब ऑन आई लीड टैक्स अकेडमी चैनल सो आई वेलकम यू नो यू ऑल टूडे इवनिंग and also morning time you know for the people who are in the us hearty hearty welcome so i am seeing you know a lot of enrollments happening and one of the questions you know that i received last week was you know sir i am not able to remember things properly how do i remember you know what i study uh, i am sure you know most of the people uh, you know struggle with this problem so this is not you know something uh, new i mean we all are human beings and we tend to forget so it's all you know part of life we get to forget you know a lot of things a lot of people a lot of memories okay <laughs> so this is nothing in fact you know i remember in our childhood you know there was a poem or a lesson on forgetting i'm sure you know you must also have read that the author calls forgetting you know as a gift <laughs> forgetting as a gift of course you know but for examination purpose forgetting is certainly you know not a gift okay now uh, see i am not a psychologist or a doctor uh, to recommend you you know how to uh, remember the things and all uh, my own father was a dementia patient okay so <laughs> uh, but you know based on the little experience you know that i have in the teaching industry and what i have personally applied when i was studying and something that i came across you know in the recent past it motivated me to make this video i was thinking of you know something else but there was one person who pinged me last week uh, sir you know i am forgetting the things i am really studying hard but i am not able to uh, remember the things so you know what do i do sir you know how can i uh, overcome this problem so this is what i got to uh, hear from him so i thought okay fine today you know let me uh, just you know crack that thing and let me just you know present that on to you you know so that we don't uh, miss out on that okay so please like and share yeah it's it's good to see uh, vikrant hi deepthi <laughs> hi vikrant hi rakesh yeah good to see you <clears throat> hi rakesh hi prasanjit hi jasho kishore <laughs> hi meenakshi hi mintu apita hi maria joseph okay so many people out there okay uh, please share you know if you are on different pages you know please share it in different pages uh, and uh, people are free to comment you see the scrolling below if you have any questions you know on the enrolled agent you know before we get into solving the live multiple choice questions if you have any questions on becoming america's highest licensed tax expert enrolled agent you can please ping in the comment section and i'll take it up at the end of the session okay fine so let's get started with uh, today's presentation on this thing you know that i had in my mind how to remember you know what you study using master technique wow <laughs> now is there a secret formula to this <laughs> okay let's let's go through this i am sure you know you will enjoy this uh, you know one of india's uh, memory masters nishant kasibatla okay he says your learning ability decides your earning capacity and even you know my mentor and guru robin sharma uh, even he says you know the same thing even uh, shiv kera i mean so many other people you know how you learn you know, because the focus if, as a person you know if you are focusing on learning your earning multiplies i'm sure you know most of our enrollment advisors also should have spoken to you you know on the same aspects because that is what we teach i mean if not ea even if you want to you know learn something else also even if you want to learn something else also you know that is absolutely fine but you got to learn i mean you got to know you know what your customers need i mean everything has to do with learning but today you know i am not talking to you as a practitioner but i want to talk to you as a teacher and when you are studying something when you are studying something you know how are you going to remember you know certain things is what you know i wanted to uh, talk to you today 
and i hope you know it will be of use to you <clears throat> hi yamuna hi madhivani good to see you hearty welcome fine so this is you know adapted from national training uh, laboratories mine uh, this is a learning pyramid you know how the retention happens so when we learn something what happens so this is what you know they say that 5% retention you know happens through a lecture you know as we are talking as we are talking 5% you know retention happens through lecture 10% happens through reading you know and then 20% through that audio or visual 30% through demonstration demonstration and then 50% through discussion group as we are discussing here then 70% 75% practicing by doing you know what we have learned and then 90% by teaching others so maybe uh, you know all the teachers <laughs> people like me you know who are there they are in that last section you know that's how uh, teachers tend to remember you know a lot i mean the way you know they correct their question papers and all they are able to remember so many things you know in no time <laughs> uh, so you know the um, this institute you know calls it as passive teaching method and then participatory teaching methods so there are two types of teaching methods here you see you know the first uh, three or four you know uh, parts of the pyramid it is connected with passive teaching methods and the last three is what truly is you know participatory teaching method see one of the things of uh, we coming live like this see this is not something that uh, we charge anything for not we get you know paid anything for this is to create awareness on the enrolled agent program and at the same time you know there are many students or uh, people per se who lack that little direction or that little push little nudge is what i can say a little word of encouragement from anyone you know like us uh, i think you know it boosts them and i tend to get you know very often you know those compliments or that word of appreciation because this little work you know what we do it motivates us also to do our very very best every time though we have a busy tax season you know i make sure you know I, that i come live every week maybe i may be late because of my schedule but i certainly come and i'm very thankful to you that you have also joined us today from different parts of the world now <clears throat> though you know uh, we all know you know the different uh, retention thing we should never forget you know the power of writing if you see any of our religious books also whether it is uh, geeta quran or bible or guru granth sahib or any other book it was written it was written and i love this you know quotation it says if they are not written they are just dreams but when you write them they become your goals so do you think dreaming is wrong no not at all but dreams should become vision vision in other words it should be your goal a goal is a vision with a set deadline with a set timeline have you set your goals write them down you know that's why you know they say i mean even when you join a gym or something also you know they put their favorite model picture there <laughs> i mean even if you are studying you know a ca course or a ea course or cpa anything uh, you know even in the class you know i say form 23 that is what you know you fill uh, for an enrolled agent uh, license application so i tell them you know put that uh, form 23 you know before you wherever you study or sit and uh, you know just write your name and everything on that and you will be able to uh, visualize that you know that power of visualization the power of seeing that invisible is always good and that will happen only when you have written it properly that's why you know even the business plans are written the agenda is written the minutes are written everything i mean writing does not necessarily mean you know writing with a pen and paper i would very much encourage that if you are really not writing you know long long uh, things i mean too much of content it is always good you know to scribble it on a pen and a paper because it's it's natural <laughs> it's natural you know uh, you tend to remember so much now there's something called as you know having us uh, forgetting curve now if you watch this carefully it says immediately 
immediately you know as of now you remember 100% the retention is 100% now after 20 minutes the retention is 58% 58% then after 1 hour it is 44% after 9 hours it is 36% after 1 day it is 33% after 2 days it is 28% after 6 days, it is 25%. After 31 days, it is 21%. <laughs> I mean, just go through this once. Okay, see, having us forgetting, <laughs> I hope, you know, you have still not forgotten, you know, uh, what I am talking to you. Now, now, how do we, you know, overcome this? How do we overcome, you know, this uh, forgetting thing? I read this, uh, you know, uh, the summary of this book, Accelerated Learning for the 21st Century uh, by Colin Rose and uh, Malcolm. Nicole. I mean, here, you know, he is talking about six step plan to unlock your mastermind. It's a six step plan. So master, it's an acronym. <laughs> it's an acronym and it's a six step plan, you know, to unlock your mastermind. Are you excited? Yeah, I am also fine. Let's get started. M, it stands for motivate your mind. M. M, it stands for, you know, motivate your mind. I mean, the author tells us here, what if, what if you learn these things? What if you learn this and you went from underpaid to overpaid? I mean, the author is asking you to stay motivated. I mean, when you feel good, you know, whether it's going to work or somebody's home or doing something, you know, it is always that the mindset is very, very important. Mindset is very, very important. You know, I remember uh, our guru, you know, Robin Sharma, he telling about four things. Mindset, heart set, health set, soul set. <laughs> he talks about four things. Mindset, heart set, health set, soul set. I'm sure, you know, people who have read the 5M Club book, uh, by Robin Sharma, you know, you must be able to know this. Uh, one of my students, you know, Deep Modi is also part of that. <laughs> so, what if you learn this? I mean, start imagining, you know, what would happen if you qualified this examination? I mean, it, this is applicable for anybody. So, even if you are a CA student, even if you are a CPA, whoever you are, what could happen if you have passed this examination? What will happen, you know, if you study? I mean, just imagine this. What would happen, you know, if you went from underpaid to overpaid? Many of the people today are not only struggling with unemployment, they are also struggling with underemployment. And if you are skilled and if you are able to produce revenue in the company, you would never be underemployed. And if you are an underemployed, despite you producing the income for the company, my friend, you are in the wrong company. <laughs> it's time, you know, you, uh, you find a new nest. Now, next, you get that special person to accept your love. <laughs> I mean, sir, you know, what is this? <laughs> I mean, that's part of love. <laughs> I mean, I have seen. <laughs> I have seen, you know, some CA students, you know, being rejected just because they have not passed the examination. I have uh, stories to tell. <laughs> then you get a good marriage alliance. Obviously, you know, you pass the examination, you get good salary. You improve your family living standards. You start supporting your household 
with extra income so especially you know i have students who are on h4 also who take up uh, ea because they want to start you know supporting their husband or you know the family in one way or the other and also many housewives uh, who want to come back and who have come back you know after the maternity also uh, it it boosts them <laughs> then you clear that big debt what if you cleared that big debt because your salary increases i mean all these are true i mean all these are true enrolled agents they make good money enrolled agent is earnings always i mean see even chartered accountants there are successful chartered accountants there are people who have just passed and they are working somewhere <laughs> no comments i mean they are chartered accountants it depends how you establish your connections how you leverage uh, your network how you utilize your skills i mean all these things matter and it goes a long way in achieving your dream it's not just qualification alone it's not just qualification mm-hmm. al- alone you know the very first year you know that we i mean even in the last year uh, you know we had like 300 plus uh, enrollments in the pandemic year why do you think you know students would uh, join us do you think you know only because we train <laughs> there are many other elements you know how we stay connected uh, to the students so even if you are a peer or a competitor who is trying to uh, study us <laughs> be close to your students learn to understand them and give them what you want and the business multiplies by itself there is no big secret here <laughs> okay and then if you are a person you know who is in business or who is working somewhere you can guide your team better obviously you know as an enrolled agent you get to learn so many things i mean just start thinking about that because there are many people who have been working in the us taxation industry and uh, to my knowledge you know when i have seen these people uh, most of them who have become enrolled agents they have become enrolled agents only after they got into a us tax company but it is only you know from i lead as of now that you know we are making even a fresher as an enrolled agent with you know real time tax return preparation and all so uh, you know we are making history as of now <laughs> now just start thinking you know and you are going to be that history maker you know in wherever you are positioned you can guide your team better you get to know you know so many things and many people who are working in seasonal employment also they just know a piece of individual taxation they do not know what is an llc what is a s corp what is a c corp i mean what are the different types of entity i mean the basic difference between you know a sole proprietor or an independent contractor or a single member llc multiple member llc what are these things i mean ignorance is not a bliss <laughs> <laughs> knowledge is power yes or no knowledge is power so i mean you know the things you are at least able to do vakya me prayog you are able to at least talk to the client something i mean until and unless you learn how will you survive how will you earn so start motivating yourself you guide your team better you serve your clients better and uh, you may discover additional revenue generating source maybe probably you know you are just an individual taxation so far this one you know can open uh, doors for you in uh, business taxation also you know how to incorporate a company you know how to prepare a business tax return so it can open a new door of uh, revenue making opportunity for you then you can penetrate you know a new market or industry you can take your company or yourself to next level with the license i mean there could be many other reasons but what i have practically experienced you know in my life and in my students life is what you know i wanted to tell you and i tell this always when you know the why of it the how of it will unfold itself you really do not care how when you know why you truly do not care how of it okay so the step one is to motivate your mind motivate your mind your mindset is the most important thing and here you see you know uh, these are the brain infographics if you can closely observe this the left brain and the right brain the left brain and the right brain you know there are two aspects here the right side of the body you know it uh, the brain it talks about number skills math science written language spoken language objectivity analytical logic reasoning and all Uh, the left side 
the right side you know it talks about 3d shapes music intuition creativity imagination subjectivity synthesizing emotion face recognition and all and you see that amazing facts about the brain 86 billion neurons are there wow wow how wonderfully and fearfully you know the almighty god has made us <laughs> 86 billion neurons amazing and then you know 2% of the total body weight 2% of the total body weight and it contains you know 60% fat and then 3000 tb you know heart disk capacity <laughs> consumes 20% of energy and average weight is only 1300 grams i mean we need to know you know how to leverage this just start seeing that uh because you know uh you know our faith it teaches us you know to speak words of life you know i mean you just have to speak even elders say you know speak positive think positive uh, you know uh, you know this book you know the power of positive thinking you just speak positive think positive and just imagine that the good is going to come yeah you are free to think you know negative also but my friend you know life is better you know with hope <laughs> <laughs> okay fine step 2 is a you know acquire information see this piece uh, is going to be very very useful for you so please uh, listen uh, listen to this very attentively okay so for l a is acquire information so it says you know listen ad- attentively avoid multitasking stay 100% focused i mean it's very easy to say uh, but sir can we really implement it just go and check you know those what ifs those motivation points of why you should uh, study and all i'm sure you know the attention will automatically come think of that you know big debt think of all that humiliation that you went through personally professionally and then come back be little motivated you know with those uh, <laughs> things and then come back stay 100% pro you know focus you know you get your uh, chat from your loved one you get deviated you get that call from your loved one you get deviated so <laughs> tell your loved one also that you can take better care of her or him only when you achieve something in life and this is one of the things you know it can get you there right make notes and never underestimate you know the power of writing whenever i say this in the class also whenever you are with some important person make sure that you make notes even in a meeting or something you know that's why we have minutes so that we don't forget we don't forget we have just seen you know that forgetting curve you know how it works learn to underline highlight and use different colors you know whether manual or digital and then research many sources but follow only one i mean just because you know there are so many sources out there so even if you are studying you know something some other material also absolutely fine you have just uh, visited our site here uh, to because you like the content that we are presenting hearty hearty welcome you may follow you know you may like us but just follow one i mean don't get into too many thing okay let me study that let me study this let me do that i mean that's that's not needed at all that's not needed at all then sit properly <laughs> 90 degrees you know at a study table i mean try to sit properly position yourself well i still remember you know my <laughs> dad <laughs> giving me a pyara pachkad you know <laughs> in case you know i am sitting in a reclining position or sleeping on the bed and studying you know holding that book and also we used to get uh, sweet beatings <laughs> but you know that's what is needed because recliner bed of course so far chalo bhai you can sit and study uh, but recliner bed and all you know so far also probably if you are just sitting you know in that 90 degrees angle or a little uh, you know lean uh, uh, towards you know uh, back or something like that that's okay but actually you know they are all meant for relaxation right recliner bed i mean that's the place where you sleep so that is meant for sleep you know not for study it's okay for reading you know for telling the bedtime stories or some book you know that you read uh, before you go to bed wonderful habit but we are talking about studying 
passing an examination or something like that your bed the recliner sofa and all please avoid please have a study table or even you know you get those chairs also i mean with a pad or something i mean that's absolutely fine you see this ca students each one has a chair and a pad <laughs> you know please have that have proper lighting in place and prefer you know natural lights or else you know you will become this cheshmish so <laughs> make sure you know that you have the proper lighting and if you are a music lover like me i would suggest you know you have a light instrumental music because even me during the classes you know i teach for 2 to 3 hours at a stretch sometimes so uh, because we keep teaching the same thing again we keep talking the same thing to the client you know sometimes it is boring for me only i am okay to openly confess that <laughs> but every time you know there's a new listener who is listening to me so it motivates me you know their comments and all you're free to comment you know as of now also if you're enjoying this session <laughs> let me know how you feel and then set a 30 to 45 minutes timer to stay focused i mean once you sit you know please don't get up every now and then uh, you know please respect your study time maybe you may be studying you know one or two hours only so after 45 minutes you know a, a, a small break for yourself is okay now if you are somebody who will not get up for two hours three hours also okay great <laughs> you are amazing and awesome but uh, if you can't you know sit more than one hour which is also psychologically proven uh, that's absolutely fine you know just make sure that uh, you take you know uh, proper breaks and have juices or Uh, liquid food in that break time don't overload yourself you know with uh, too much of uh, food <laughs> now next one s search for the meaning you know uh, today uh, we designed this uh, thing i lead inspiration we keep posting you know often any fool can know the point is to understand wow <laughs> who said this <laughs> sir albert einstein <laughs> any fool can know the point is to understand you know how beautiful it is it's so rude but it is so beautiful you know it says you know search for the meaning understanding is the key to any wonderful relationship yes or no understanding is the key to any wonderful relationship and now you are in relationship with this education with this examination so you got to take care of it you got to understand it okay how can you understand that particular subject when you listen attentively when you avoid multitasking when you stay 100% focused when you uh, make you know that notes mm -hmm. learn to underline uh, you know whatever you know we have discussed earlier it's the same thing search for the meaning of it search for the meaning of it the understanding piece is the most important you know i would say this one any fool can know the point is to understand i mean if you just ask me search the meaning i would just say understand even when you are watching the lectures or whatsoever make an effort to understand mm -hmm. because uh, i see you know many people in the church because we go to church every sunday i get to see you know some people Uh, and also you know pastor says that <laughs> sleeping with open eyes <laughs> and they are hearing not listening you know? i mean so many things like that i'm sure you know we all have done that in our childhood but we have to make sure that we understand because whatever is this education that we are studying now it is going to be useful to us in the long run and this is what we are going to work so if you are somebody who is studying ea this is what you will be going to do i mean these are the papers whatever you are going to study this is what you are going to work also tomorrow so it is very important that you understand the concepts well okay is this a personal tax return okay is this a business tax return okay this is an itin application okay he has to file an f bar he has to file a fat ka he is residing in multiple states i mean these are the things isn't it i mean you got to understand the things understand what the customer needs understand what is that solution so the point is not knowing i mean many people say ah, i know i know about ea i know about this i know about that very good wonderful but do you understand what are the topics in ea <laughs> do you understand if you understood why are you not a ea yet i leave that to the person fine m so let's quickly revise m 
motivate your mind right a acquire information acquire knowledge then s search the meaning of it understanding okay now t is trigger your memory okay what is this trigger your memory okay see make side headings make side headings then make points or summary make side headings i mean people especially you know who are from uh, <laughs> ou <laughs> i mean based on one side heading we used to write you know entire paragraph so <laughs> uh yeah we used to relate to entire paragraph so then make points or summary and then make acronyms so try to make you know short abbreviations or something like that it will be useful and then make flash cards chota cards if you want i mean acronyms are enough then make tables when you study also you know make tables make flow charts and test yourself often i mean you can have the mock exams or you can participate in quiz or something like this okay the real time thing because rather than reading you know paragraphs and all doing something uh, you know naturally you know that will be good always i mean something that is easy for us to comprehend and understand right next <clears throat> e is exhibit exhibit what you know exhibit what you know okay use what you learned in your daily life or workplace if you see you know ca students uh, or you know enrolled agents also or lawyers doctors they study again they work they study again they work you know with an expert so that they understand better so whatever you are studying find out a way if there is a way you know you can understand that you know putting those audit regs is not uh, you know the work that you are ought to do for a long run that is certainly important but that is not the work you know that you are ought to do even as an ea as an enrolled agent it is very important that whatever you are studying you should find an opportunity to work what you have studied i mean now you know currently we have so many of our interns who are uh, working and also some real time people uh, who couldn't uh, you know work with us for full time but they you know work with us part time you know so that they get that hands on experience based on the education so because they have studied so much they want an opportunity you know wherein they can prepare tax returns and learn that's why you know we have this real time tax preparation classes and also internship opportunities now how can you exhibit this you can exhibit what you know by educating your team you know you're learning something so let's say even today also master even if whether it's your daughter or son or whether it's your team member i mean you can just you know share it with them hey i came across this today you know master i, I found it interesting you know, i felt like sharing it with you if you like it you know please try to follow it because it helps you you know retain for a long time and this is practically true so as uh, madhi vani you know uh, as said you know with a real life example all these are real life examples uh, madhi vani Uh, what i'm trying to share here so these are the things you know what we have experienced with our clients because even if i'm presenting this uh, on a live forum i cannot do that you know unless i have followed you know all these things <laughs> next advise your clients whatever you have learned so let's say last week you know i was live on uh, uh, elite tax llc channel about uh, economic impact payments and then uh, recovery rebate credit i got so many messages and uh, some calls from people you know appreciating that so you know i got so much revelation about this eip and this rrc thank you very much for making uh, that video i mean you are able to understand so much you know you see a speaker there you see a write up there and you are able to pause take screenshot make notes if necessary and you are able to talk to the client you are able to talk to the client and that's what we need right so advise your client i mean just what i'm trying to say is even if you have nobody i mean you sir i don't have a team i don't have clients you know or something like that find a partner to study <laughs> or find you know someone who is already qualified or a person you know who is already studying i mean two or three friends is more than enough i mean no group studies you know with four five members and all it's just batakani and waste of time so <laughs> i would say you know two people two are better than one so 
if you can find a study partner or if you can make your spouse or your father responsible daddy you know i've learned this today uh, let me just you know explain this to you this is what it means you know in a layman's language was i right and today in every home you know we have someone or we know someone who is there in us so why not you know start talking you know some tax topics to them also i mean see this is what i learned and i see that you know you are, you satisfy all these conditions uh, do you have you know uh, have you ever tried this why not share it with him if he is confused you know please route him to us we will guide him <laughs> but at least you know you can uh, find you know you can initiate a conversation at least okay solve someone's you know problem friend colleague neighbor client or community because even these students you know uh, many of them they go to us on f1 visa only and i have seen you know some people filing 1040 <laughs> so i mean that's a basic thing you got to file a 1040 nr if you are a student and in case you know somebody's taxes got withheld because for a fica taxes uh, for a non resident you know these fica taxes like social security and medicare taxes must not be withheld so just in case you know it got withheld uh, how do they get it back you know by filing certain forms like 843 8316 and all there are certain things you know which you can guide them and uh, uh, the basic thing you know that somebody does when he goes to us is uh, furnishing a w4 form w4 to the employer so you can guide them uh, i mean if you is your brother in law or a brother or somebody uh, hi baba you know let me just help you on that I mean, can I review your W four? I mean, something you know you can try. I mean, how to maximize the take home by avoiding to give an interest free loan to IRS. I mean, uh, I would encourage you to watch that ten uh, ten things you know to know about your paycheck. I've made one video ten things to know about pay paycheck you know on Ily Tax LLC channel. Just watch that. So somebody who is uh, new to US. so there are 10 things you know that the person has to know is what you know i have tried to summarize and then present it there because for most of you who do not know i am not just a teacher i am a practitioner also since last 16 years so i'm sure you know it will be of some uh, value to you and please uh, let me know your thoughts comments and suggestions to make this still better okay and then one of the ways how you can exhibit what you know is to leverage internship opportunities also i mean find out find out if you are really not serious about the pay and all you can always you know uh, find an option you know where and you can enroll for the internship program and uh, you are able to produce some revenue there i'm sure the company wouldn't mind paying you yeah so e is exhibit what you know wonderful you know this is one of the learnings you know that i have found the research we forget 50% of what we learn within one hour of learning it unless we put into practice or are continuously supported and provided with access to knowledge let's read that again we forget 50% of what we learn within one hour of learning within one hour of learning it unless we put into practice or are continuously supported and provided with access to knowledge that's why you know when students are also solving mcqs i mean after the class we say that you know try to just solve the mcqs i mean after the revision classes or after studying a particular topic immediately you know try to solve those mcqs because that content is fresh in your mind it will be easy for you you know to solve those mcqs correctly and we have just seen that forgetting curve also and then last one r reflect on your learning reflect on your learning you know repetition is the mother of mastery the more you revise the more you revise you know the better it is keep revising you know every now and then and meditate on it you know day and night until you pass that examination and avoid as much as possible revising from a digital device i mean the reason why i say is I mean I love technology I mean I have the entire apple family with me <laughs> and uh, even this you know the new technology that we are using I love technology but when it comes to studying reading you know and all these things uh, of course you know kindle like that kindle and all you know that's a different thing you know ipad and all reading is different but when it comes to studying 
I my personal recommendation and it has worked with most of the students and you see any qualified professional he will have his own notes own notes he may read you know so many books but he will have a small notes which he will skim through you know before he goes for the examination so i encourage you you know to have your own notes okay and refer you know and uh, practice you know from that handwritten notes or printed papers and that will help you you know a long way to retain whatever you have read so here another uh, survey it says i mean based on you know the same thing what we have seen earlier after 20 minutes 42% of learning is lost this is another you know survey report after 20 minutes 42% of learning is lost after 24 hours 67% of learning is lost wow <laughs> i hope you know by tomorrow <laughs> you are not in this situation but this is what you know the research say and then after 31 days 79% of learning is lost oh my god and after 60 days after 60 days 90% of learning is lost i mean you know there are some people you know who just uh, uh, prepare but they don't revise they don't make any effort any effort so do you think you know like going to gym for one day and then expecting you know that yeah the muscles and all will be the same thing throughout i mean <laughs> <laughs> it can't be like that so without further revision the average learner retains only 10% of new information after 60 days so even my dear friend people who have prepared last year but people who couldn't write in the february because uh, the exams got postponed if you are not revising not good for you <laughs> just stay in touch you know as we come live just make sure that you solve these mcqs it's good for you it's good for you just test your knowledge you know where you stand and uh, finally you know i have made this uh, little summary here the quality of your learning determines the quantity of your earning wow i love this the quality of your learning determines the quantity of your earning master let's summarize m motivate your mind very important motivate your mind a acquire the information acquire that knowledge s search for the meaning understand it then t trigger your memory trigger your memory yeah just try to test it i mean just with that uh, short uh, side headings that acronyms those tables just try to understand the entire concept then exhibit what you know find an opportunity you know wherein you can share that information so even if you are working somewhere and then uh, you know suddenly uh, they talk about uh, let's say uh, business incorporation okay that's a topic uh, that has come up business incorporation and if you are a student you know i'm sure you will be able to tell immediately you know which is best for whom i mean llc s corp c corp or you know whatsoever partnership or whatsoever so while somebody i mean when you're working as a team when you know something you know i don't mean to say that hey wait you know let me tell you i know this better no i'm not trying to say that what i'm trying to say is okay you have recommended a particular uh, way plan can i also recommend this this is what you know i have learned it you know while i was studying uh, i think you know we have we can do that in lesser steps we can do it uh, quicker than uh, what you just shared please correct me you know if i am wrong i mean be present will be gentle but still present your opinion <laughs> yeah find an opportunity and then finally reflect on your learning and keep revising you know whatever you have done and i'm sure you know these six steps i mean it's a wonderful book and if you google you know accelerated learning techniques you will get to see so much of information you know on google uh, youtube and all accelerated learning techniques but i like this uh, master you know i'm sure you know it will be of help to you also yeah fine so thank you very much for your time i hope you have enjoyed uh, uh, 
uh, watching you know until here now let's go to menti.com and let's get to solve you know some of these uh, mcqs let's get started Okay, please follow these uh, instructions on the uh, today session. And today we are going to discuss on uh, individual taxes, uh, social security number, very easy topic, and then representation, uh, rules and penalties. In EA, there are three papers, individual tax, business tax, and representation. So from next week, what I was thinking was, uh, you know, uh, every week I'll try to uh, come live and uh, we will take up you know all the three papers uh, two two questions or three three questions so from next week you can expect us to be live you know and we'll be doing all the three papers because uh, I think you know that will give more clarity so we'll reduce the questions uh, to three three each now let's get started with part one okay individual taxation I see and religion us tax expert license 85 questions only 15 experimental questions okay so for those of you who have still not done menti.com so please go to menti.com and type that code 12146822 okay 12146822 okay let's get started yeah here's the oh wow wonderful <laughs> Fine. here's the first question and let me put your timer somewhere Let's check this question. With regard to checking the accuracy, with regard to checking the accuracy of social security information entered into tax return, what is tax preparer's responsibility? What is the tax preparer's responsibility? Mm. Okay. 
let's see what are the options that's given here okay there are uh, four options that's given here you can see it on your mobile also just uh, just make sure you know there are uh, you have those four options that's given here just check that out see let's let's read these options here okay it says a tax preparer must check all social security numbers entered on the tax return uh, with the person's birth certificate mm. <laughs> i mean uh, <laughs> there's really you know nothing as such but let's see Next one, a tax preparer should check the accuracy of all SSNs entered on the tax return with a valid form of identification that would normally be used to prove identity. I mean, this looks like correct. This looks like correct. Uh, because, uh, you know, see, in, uh, you know, most of the situations, most of the situations, see, when he is getting a SSN or something, it is very much understood. It is very much understood that it is coming from, you know, SSA, Social Security Administration. So if they are giving that, they must have really done, you know, all that research, due diligence and all. And only then, you know, they might have issued that. They have issued that, you know, SSN and all. So it's not relevant, you know, that you, uh, again, you know, counter check, uh, uh, that piece of information uh, with the birth certificate and all that, you know, all those uh, dramas are not needed. So B looks like correct, but let's see, see, a tax preparer must only check the primary social security number entered on the return. No, you need to check, um, I mean, you know, the spouse social security number, the kids, I mean, even the ITIN, any dependents, whosoever is there on the tax return, you got to check everything. Okay, then a tax preparer does not have to verify every social security number. Cut the crap. <laughs> okay, so the second one is the right answer. Okay, very nice. Wonderful. Let's take up the next question. Yeah. You have only Maggie time, okay, to uh, attempt uh, all these questions. Fine. So let's take uh, a look at this question. Uh, it says, okay, just read through the question once. A tax client is eligible 
to claim an infant girl who is in the process of adopting as a dependent but she does not have a ssn so ssn for that child so what should the preparer tell the client hmm. what should the preparer tell the client so if you were the preparer what would you tell okay so let's look at these uh, options that is available here one it says the taxpayer should get an atin issued by the ssa for the child <laughs> i mean partly it is correct but atin is not something that is issued by ssa <clears throat> it is only ssn that is issued by ssa atin is issued by the irs okay next one the taxpayer should get an atin issued by the irs for the child right very good majority have given the right answers next one after the ssn is issued she can file her return and claim the child but not before now here you know the question of ssn does not arise at all in case you know you are not able to get an ssn normally what do we do in k i mean especially you know in our practice when we have this first time filers you know coming to us with the kid and all and the kids are there in the us for more than 6 months you know we claim the kid as a dependent on the tax return now these kids cannot work obviously uh, and neither they are us citizens you know that they qualify for ssn so can we not claim them we can claim them but we need to apply for their itin i think we learned this right in the part 1 itin individual taxpayer identification number so that is for non us citizens non us residents and all who are not in employment or who are not us nationals now in our case here it's a case of adoption it's a case of adoption okay now in this adoption situation we will look for adopt Taxpayer identification number that is called as ATIN, ATIN, okay, ATIN or ATIN, okay. ATIN is different, ITIN is different, ATIN is different, okay. Next, the taxpayer can use uh, Julie's her older daughter SSN who is now 17 years old because Julie's SSN is no longer valid for the child tax credit. <laughs> I mean, it can't be like that. <clears throat> you just have to. Uh, use you know that person's ssn only so uh, you cannot be using you know somebody else uh, ssn here fine very good so i think you know many people they gave the uh, right answer so the right answer is uh, b only okay the taxpayer should get an atin issued by the irs for the child chaliye let's take up the next question yeah wonderful okay this is a easy question so i don't want to set a timer for this it's a easy question so i don't want to set a timer for it
Yeah. See, attempt the question. Even uh, if you are not sure, at least you can try your luck. Okay, fine. So let's go through this question once. Okay, let's go through this question here. Now it says form W9 request for a tin, yeah, request for tin and certification would not be would not be used to request a tin from which of the following okay from which of the following we have these options would not be used okay our team is very kind they have given you not in capitals and not in the examination it doesn't come like that so <laughs> we have a very generous knowledge management team so <laughs> yeah so this is what uh, it is these are the options that is available for us an individual who is a u.s resident alien Mm -hmm. a domestic trust yes foreign estate uh, see w9 is primarily for u.s persons okay to get the uh, tax identification number from uh, uh, u.s persons you know to allow them certain exemptions or claims and u.s persons normally uh, it includes you know any individual who is a u.s citizen or a resident alien or a partnership, corporation, company, or association that is incorporated as per the laws in the US or any other estate, but not a foreign estate. Even a trust is considered, but not, you know, a foreign estate. So, and of course, D is corporation. So the right answer here is, as many of you have attempted it right, it is C, foreign estate. That is the right answer, okay? Fine. And also one of the things, you know, that you got to remember is in case, you know, you're not providing a tin, uh, any taxpayer, you know, who fails to furnish a correct tin to uh, the requester, he is subject to a penalty of $50 for each such failure. So even if you're a client, you know, is just watching it because you like these uh, questions, you just want to give it a try. Whenever, you know, somebody asks you for tin, I say, you know, what will to do? Right. <laughs> so, dollar <laughs> So, you have to make sure, you know, that you give that, uh, I mean, you will have to furnish that tin properly. <clears throat> Unless the failure is due to a reasonable cause and not due to willful neglect. Okay, if you have a genuine reason why you cannot give it, yeah, that's okay. And then if a taxpayer makes a false statement with no reasonable basis that results in no backup withholding, the taxpayer is subject to a civil penalty of $530, okay? So, the regular penalty is $50 and, uh, you know, that civil penalty will be $530 in case, you know, you don't uh, uh, give, uh, you know, that uh, thing. Or oh, tin, if you don't furnish, it will be costly for you. So, <laughs> don't get into that. Let's get into the next question. I think I gave the answer for you in the previous question only. <laughs> oh, so bad. <laughs> forget, forget, forget. Yeah, if I've given you answer and if your memory is still, uh, you know, afresh, please forget what I told. <laughs> and attempt this afresh. 
what is the taxpayer penalty for <clears throat> failing to provide a correct tin you know to the requester what is the taxpayer penalty yeah okay good b is going up okay that's the answer <laughs> so there's no rocket science in this <laughs> i just told you <clears throat> the basic penalty is 50 dollars and if it is high then uh, it will be 530 dollars okay so sorry i leaked <laughs> leaked that out <laughs> okay let's take up the next question the last question in part one which of the following forms is used to advise the IRS that a taxpayer's SSN has been compromised. Hmm. Which of the forms? <laughs> I mean, you know, in the exam also, yeah, uh, you know, questions I say, so it will be fun. Uh, you know, sometimes you feel, are bhai, ye bhi question hai kya? you know, it's like that. So, <laughs> so that's part of it. Uh, mm. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see, whenever you see SSN or any sensitive information has been compromised, uh, I mean, it's identity theft, okay? So, even if you don't remember the form number for examination purpose, that is absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine, you know? So, identity theft affidavit, that's the right answer, okay? This 8821 and 2848 and all this for tax information authorization power of attorney that's a regular notice so <clears throat> when it when you know that you know taxpayer ssn has been compromised and uh, people when you know that your data has been compromised you know it's best thing is taxpayer should file uh, you know this form 14039 and get that ip you know, identity protection pin and make sure you know you follow that Chalye, fine. Wonderful. <laughs> Five questions, you have done a wonderful job. So let's get into the last part. Uh, representation, just uh, let's answer one, two, three questions there and close. Yeah, this is on rules and penalties. Rules and penalties.
So because it is part three, I have reduced the timer to one minute thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah. Very good, good, good to see you know people participating. Wonderful. Okay, so let's read this question. Section six six nine four a of the code imposes a penalty for the understatement of tax caused by unreasonable position of the greater of greater of so many dollars per return or 50% of income derived from the return or return to which the penalty was imposed for returns prepared during the year okay now the options that is given there is 50 thousand 500 to 50 and the right answer is thousand okay so it's a number based question and the right answer is thousand okay and i believe you know many people have given the right answer wonderful very good fine let's take up the next question yeah very good mm. a little long yeah. read the options carefully you have uh, two minutes to attempt okay because 30 seconds you know i'm talking in between so i have just reduced it so that we don't take longer time. Yeah, just go through that once. Let's read this uh, question. Let's go through this. Which of the following is negligent or willful disrespect of rules and regulations of the tax preparer under section 6694 of the code? Which of the following? Okay. The preparer knew there was not a realistic possibility of an understatement liability being sustained on its merits and knowingly takes the position any way hmm okay here the question if you see which of the following is negligent negligent or willful disregard of rules and regulations it says the preparer knew there was not a realistic possibility of an understatement liability being sustained on its merits and knowingly takes the position anyway so there is nothing you know fraudulent on the return but uh, could be you know an error or something like that so it was not you know an understatement of liability uh, reducing the income or increasing the expenses no you know drama anything like that so it was uh, okay but he has taken you know his own uh, reasonable position you know based on his uh, practice merit so that's okay 
Next, a position was not disclosed as provided in section 662. Uh, that is about you know negligent uh, rules, uh, about you know any understatement of penalty and all. Uh, so that is also okay. <clears throat> Next one, the question here is on negligent and willful disrespect um, under section 6694. So let's ignore you know 662. Then the preparer makes a willful attempt to understate the liability of tax. <laughs> the preparer makes a willful attempt. Wow. It makes he makes a willful attempt to understate the tax liability. So obviously the preparer will be guilty, right? Because he is making a willful attempt. Next. So C looks like the right answer. C looks like the right answer. And then D. Part of an understatement of liability is due to a position for position for which there was not a realistic possibility of being sustained on its merits. Okay, these are two technical languages, so please read it again. Part of an understatement of liability is due to a position for which there was not a realistic possibility of being sustained on its merits. Okay, so A and D are almost the same. Okay, so there is nothing fraudulent about this and there is nothing negligent or willful disregard of rules and all. So third one, if you see, uh, the tax preparer makes a willful attempt to understate the tax liability. So third one is the right answer. So many people, you know, have checked the D. Uh, because maybe you know they just got confused with one I mean A and uh, D actually the right answer is C okay fine let's go check out the last question of the day hmm. wonderful take it up The last question of the day wonderful good i'm glad you know you are able to focus for almost like one and a half hour wonderful <laughs> Chale, let's see this which of the following may be subject to backup withholding rules okay one interest two barter exchange transactions three non-employee compensation and four all of these uh, answer choices all of this answer choices. Okay, it's a very simple and uh, straightforward question, so no much drama. All these are subject to backup withholding rules. Okay, so thank you very much for uh, joining us today. I believe you know you have enjoyed the uh, session so far. Thank you very very much. And if you have any inputs, you know thoughts and comments to make it better, let us know. And you see, you know all these scrolling and also if you have any questions, you know about. Uh, EA, please you know contact our office uh, you have our contact details below and uh, <clears throat> for those of you who still uh, do not have you know complete information about this uh, this is what about uh, elite 
okay uh, you get all these things you get the tax lectures for those of you who still do not know you get these uh, tax lectures you get the mcqs you get uh, the tax material then you get the revision classes and you know those uh, 10 se mock tests also so if you see you know 2500 uh, mcqs plus almost like 1000 more questions so you have almost like 3500 uh, plus mcqs so i mean that is like too much <laughs> that is up to you actually you know the mcqs if you solve it's more than enough for you but still you know you have to keep testing yourself uh, every now and then so the mock test helps and also you know these live sessions also i'm sure you know it'll help you a uh, long way and uh, you know something about uh, how enrolled agent will be helpful to you please pause this after you know the live completes just go through these things you know even if you are somebody who is on h4 it will be so much of help to you so and as a ea if you study ea you know you become a licensed tax expert it's very easy you know to get a job whether in india or in usa so if you have any questions and if you are looking for any uh, additional uh, uh, information you know apart from what we have shared please let us know and i lead uh, at i lead you know it's the only organization as of now you know i can say where you can learn you know both theory and practicals uh, i mean you learn the enrolled agent training and then you get to learn the Uh, real time you know tax return preparation also so i encourage you to uh, please uh, leverage this process uh, and then for those of you who uh, want to know you know what is the process for training and all so these are the steps uh, you enroll you get the links you learn you make notes you solve mcqs you study that you know you participate in these questions schedule the exam <clears throat> in case you have any doubts or anything get in touch with us you know as per one of the modes that is listed in step 9 and finally pass the examination and let's celebrate the success together <laughs> okay and uh, thank you very much uh, it was really nice uh, talking to you i hope you know whatever i have shared today um, you know that little thing i'm sure you know it is going to help you a long way uh, especially you know this master thing the six steps i personally liked it very much i hope you know it will be uh, useful to you also please uh, share it please like and share it if you like it i am uh, liking it <laughs> i liked it very much so if you also like it please do share it the six steps you know uh, it's going to be really useful to us you know in uh, every area of our life i wish you uh, all the very best and please don't give up please stay motivated uh, please associate yourself with the right people do not be disheartened i mean you keep doing the same quality work keep improving every now and then i'm sure you know the success is going to hit you in no time and uh, it will be a wonderful eye opener for everybody your success will speak louder than anything else okay all the very best thank you very much i'll see you uh, next week it was really wonderful connecting with all of you take care good night and good day bye bye